प्लीज प्रेस बेल आइकॉन टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल सीमा गौतम फॉर मोर वीडियोस हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अनदर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर इन ज्योग्राफी ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज पार्ट वन हियर विल डिस्कस अबाउट स्किल्ड एंड अनस्किल्ड ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज in this chapter we'll learn about what is human resources distribution of human resources skilled and unskilled human resources with its example role of health and education in developing human resources which we will learn in detail impact of skilled and unskilled human resources on the socio economic development of the country with examples from india Here I'll start the chapter in detail with what is human resources. People are considered a resource as the have the skill and ability to exploit other natural resources and help a country in its growth. Thus people are considered and called as human resource. Human resources are important for a country as they can help a country meet its need and help in its economic growth. Human beings are the most important resource of a country because they can use their intelligence and ability to exploit other resources such as land, minerals and water in the best possible way. labor in india refers to employment in the economy of india 94% work in unincorporated unorganized enterprises ranging from pushcart vendors to home based diamond and gem polishing operations the organized sector includes workers employed by the government state owned enterprises and private sector enterprises In local terms, organized sec or formal sector in India refers to licensed organizations, that is, those who are registered and pay GST. These include the publicly traded companies, incorporated or formally registered entities, corporations, factories, shopping malls, hotels, and large businesses. Unorganized sector, also known as own account enterprises. refers to all unlicensed self employed or unregistered economic activities such as owner manning general stores handicrafts and handloom workers rural traders farmers etc here i'll go ahead with skilled and unskilled labor meaning and with the examples skill labor refers to labor that requires workers who have specialized training or a learned skill set to perform the work very highly skilled workers may fall under the category of professionals rather than skilled labor such as doctors and lawyers examples of skill labor occupations are electricians law enforcement officers computer operators bankers technician and administrative assistants unskilled labor does not require workers to have social training or skills unskilled labor are constantly shrinking due to technological and societal advances jobs that previously required little or no training now required training for example labor that was once done manually now may be assisted by computers or other technology requiring the workers to have technical skills examples of remaining unskilled labor occupations generally include farm laborers grocery clerk hotel maids general cleaners and sweepers The market has changed drastically for skilled and unskilled labor.
Here, as I have given the skilled and unskilled labor meaning as well as examples to you. Here further, we will discuss role of health and education. Education and health are both important factors in a country's labor force, supply and productivity. Education increases labor productivity through increased knowledge while those in better health have more healthy time and able to take full advantage of their advanced skills. Greater education and strong health play a crucial role in prospering economy, not only at the individual level, but also at the national level. Education can provide both theoretical knowledge and practical skills to raise productivity, which will lead to higher income. A healthy mind and body can help an individual gain and apply the knowledge and skills necessary for a fulfilling life. At both macro and micro levels, policy makers and legislatures have been targeting education and health in order to construct policies aimed at economic prosperity. Thank you.